Well, today the Justice Department released a scathing report on the deadly shooting at Robb Elementary School in Uvalde, Texas in 2022. 19 students and two teachers were killed. Today's report lists a number of failures in the law enforcement response to that massacre. Christy Aletto is here now with some of these absolutely shocking findings. Yeah, including the 75 minutes that it took for police to subdue the gunman after he first made entry into that school to the hour that was wasted waiting for a key to a door that was already unlocked. The report says their response was defined by chaos and confusion, particularly in the failures in leadership, command structure, and the lack of active shooter training. Had the law enforcement agencies followed generally accepted practices in an active shooter situation and gone right after the shooter to stop him. Lives would have been saved and people would have survived. Yeah, that was one of the many findings detailed in that nearly 600 page report made public today by the DOJ. Now the feds called it a failure that officers did not recognize this as an active shooter scenario and said it was treated as a barricade with no urgency to immediately stop the killings. It was pretty hard, you know, to hear the when he sits there and says that, you know, lives could have been saved. I hope that the failures end today and the local officials do what wasn't done that day, do right by the victims and survivors of Rob Elementary. Families are also calling for terminations of those officers that are still on the force, and the attorney for those victims' families say that the bigger question is what is being done to address how the shooter got the firepower and also the ammo online to carry out the massacre. Sarah. It's also gut-wrenching. Christy, thank you.